Hello and welcome to part 37 of the DOS Daggerfall Let's Play series. And in the last one, we finally officially became a Master Assassin in the Dark Brotherhood. And now we are basically done with them because they really have nothing of that much use <laughs> anymore to provide for me, honestly. After just getting that silly, uh, arbitrary little achievement there. So in this one we move to another region, or in this one we have uh, moved to another region to, you know, mix things up. The uh, the island, the, whatever that island is called, the Isle of Balfreya, wherever the hell, served me pretty well. It was pretty fun doing the dungeons there, saw some interesting stuff. Um, but on to another region to keep things, mix things up a little bit. Uh, in this region we are going to be doing similar things but instead for the mages guild until we at least get the service to summon daedra or you know summon uh daedra uh, princes so we can do their quest hopefully and get some cool artifacts uh since the last one i went to do some shopping in uh this new region in this city specifically and, man, I made a whole crap ton of money. Uh, yeah. I made, like, I don't know, like, over 200000 or something. Just from selling all that Daedra crap. And, uh, mostly the Daedra crap. Some of the ingredients sold for a decent amount, but mostly the Daedra stuff. So, I am quite loaded right now. Not that it matters too much. And at the same time, I'm not very encumbered, because I went to the bank. And I emptied about a bunch of crap, so... We are good to go. That guy... <laughs> uh, that guy just... <laughs> that guy just... <laughs> just staring me down. I love that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, What time is it? Uh, you know what? Let's see if there's any training. I, I really don't think that they have anything they could really train me in that's that useful. Um, because I I'm most of these skills I am quite good in. Um, I guess let's get our orcish up, like. You know, in practice, like, Orcish is the only thing that that we're really seeing that could be possibly kind of useful to pacify, but even then, it's like, eh. So, yeah. Just for practical reasons. I guess that's, like, the only thing they could really practically teach me. Wait a minute. Is this the magic item? Yes. Got any uh, ghost soul? Interesting. Frost Daedra. Curious. If there's a Frost Atronach, I'd be more interested, but Frost Daedra, that's cool. Literally and metaphorically. Whoa. Got a Daedra Buckler of some kind. Nice. Wonder how much that is, uh... Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Only like 4,000 just because of, uh... The way the enchantments work and all that. The value is calculated. I mean, not that it matters. It... Honestly. Just because of how shields do not get affected by the material and all that. Well... Yeah, I mean, they, they... Huh, I like that one. Small Statue, the Protector. <laughs> nice. Boots, the Protector, that's not nearly as cool. Strange name with that on it. Eh. Got some interesting magical stuff in, their sh in this magic item shop.
All right, let's stop messing around. Do you like Atronex Enchanter? I never have. Apparently, some mage in another town is taking a liking to them. This mage has decided to start an army of them. In fact, understand what I mean? This mage needs to be stopped before he causes any real harm. Sure, actually. I, I wonder if a quest enemy can you could take its soul and I don't know, yeah. I never really tested that. Probably can, but yeah, who knows. You don't disappoint me. This crazy mage no doubt knows the plans to kill him, so you must be wary of traps. He may be guarded by other mages serving him, so expect quite a fight. Specific students are veteran mages capable of many destructive spells. I'd advise you to always have a defensive shield up. The lunatic can be found in the mages get killed in... What? Mages will have his... Ar oh. This mage's dead and burned. Well, damn. Fair luck to you and may the great god Stendar watch over you. Strange. <laughs> okay. So th this is definitely a custom quest. Or whatever you want to say. A, a quest from a mod, whatever. Uh... So, maybe there isn't going to be Atronax, it's just going to be mages, probably, but who knows. So, 14 days, and Wilder, Wilder, lady. Okay. Fair enough. I don't know if I said an anchor here or not, but I will do it, just in case I did not. Wilder. Wilder. It's my mercantile at. Mer. Uh... Wow. I don't know if my etiquette was that high, or if it got up that high just from stuff, encountering humans, or what. Interesting. Forty-three. Not too bad. Thank you. <laughs> ah, so many Dark Brotherhood uh, uh, buildings, but I just have no... What the... Oh, town. I was like, what? Um... Okay. There it is. I was like, what the fuck? So we gotta go west. Southwest. Nothing of interest. Where am I going? North. West. There we are. course i could only uh <laughs> go into this place to assassinate this guy and his <laughs> and his army of mages at a specific time when it's when it allows it 
strange indeed. I need to make some more spells, I think. Just cause, um... I guess, you know, maybe more resistance spells to magic or some shit, I don't know. Hey guys! Eh, uh, oh. I see somebody on the compass! Hey! Okay, um, oh wow, Daedric Flail, what the shit? Okay, then. And a di- what the shit, man, wow. Well, you were certainly quite loaded on, uh, expensive weapons, jeez. Yeah. See, I, I see what they're trying to do there with that quest, but wow, this mage's guild definitely sucks. You got literally like three items in its uh <laughs> in its shop. Wow. Well, I guess I could see why they were trying to do some weird shit. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, not a very uh. Yeah, like I said, I, I could see what they're trying to do with that quest, but the, like, kind of execution in the end is kind of, uh, not, not as you'd kind of expect, I guess. Alright, that was stupid. It's no longer raising all hell. Yeah, this wasn't. I think he was just chilling out there, having a conversation with the uh, the spellmaker, honestly. So I just kind of stabbed him in the fucking ribs, and uh, yeah. Accomplish your task. The guild is forever in your debt. Enjoy. Wow. Some money for seemingly killing a probably pretty innocent motherfucker, but hey. <laughs> That was kind of weird. My near... What? The title within the guild is Warlock. Oh, wow. As Warlock, you are considered to be responsible and trustworthy enough to have the right to the danger so are, Seriously? I'm already there? What the fuck? <laughs> the danger summoning chamber. Shit, I mean... No. I was gonna say, maybe the Dark Brotherhood... Doing all those mage killing quests got my rank high or my reputation higher, but I don't think so because they wouldn't know who the hell I was. They would at least that wouldn't make any sense. Strange. Don't need to tell you that summoning a danger is an act to be performed only after serious consideration. If the need, in your opinion, merits a summoning, the guild summoner will aid you. Naturally, danger lords may only be summoned on certain particular days for the safety of the guild as a whole. It is a grave privilege, Sinia, Nightlock, of which the guild finds you worthy. Okay. That's cool. Um, I, I, I wasn't expecting to uh, get that so quickly there. Warlock. Well, I've never actually you summoned a Danger Prince ever. In this game or Daggerfall Unity or anything. So I really don't know how it kind of works. All I know is that um, it requires some amount of uh, decent amount of money. As well as particular day. 
but I'm not sure what happens if you don't do it or whatever. It's, yeah. There are to be no summoning this day. I would suggest you do a little personal research and to find a day when we perform summonings. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of actually like restricted on what days they actually uh, do the summonings. It's not like you can just do it whenever and there's a random chance or some shit. So I, I guess that's similar. I never, yeah, like I said, that's literally the first time I've seen that. Interesting. So I'm going to have to find that book. Or just be lazy and just look it up online. And say, fuck the meta. Fuck the, uh, <laughs> fuck the meta. Meta gaming, just do the meta gaming. <laughs> No, I forget what that one will be called. Eh. Let's see if I can find one in the library. Da 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 da. Doesn't look like it. Mars Tears, History of Daggerfall. Nah, I'm not sure if this is randomizing them or not. It feels like they are. Maybe not. Maybe they have like a set seed for each one, but I have no clue. Uh, the hell fucking and the harpies strange. Hey, maybe on oblivion. Possibly. Uh, heard it that uh, of the dimension of oblivion as demons, the practice. Aha. Not after all the best way to research oblivion, Daedra. least trustworthy as Daedra Lords I've actually summoned. They're at least as trustworthy as the Daedra Lords I've actually summoned and spoken with at length. This place composed of many lands. Blah, 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 blah. Very mixed lot. All except for their immense power. Since that... The other danger. Uh, hmm. This is making me. Summoning room, but it's most often reserved for the highest. Echelon of guild members, which is covens, are much less class sensitive, and the necromancers, Dark Brotherhood, and many secretive kings and queens have a private summoning rooms. Yeah, bullshit. Uh, <laughs> at least for the Dark Brotherhood. They demand some sort of service of those who summon them, though I am fortunate enough to have good relations with some and need not perform. In preparation for the second chapter of the series, I will be investigating two matters that have been intrigued me since I began my career as a Daedra researcher. Just one of the uh, blah, 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 blah. There's the multiple articles. Uh, what the hell? Her scene been called. Next chapter is to find a practical means for mortal man to pass through to oblivion. 
All right, so on Oblivion, cool little read, but as far as I can see, it's definitely not the uh, summoning days and everything, unfortunately. So, you know what, just because I'm lazy and I don't remember what the hell the name is, I'm going to look it up online, so I'll pause for a second. All right, so yeah, I'm looking online, and I'm glad I looked it up, because... <laughs> I would not have, uh, guessed the name, honestly, and it might even be in one of these books, uh, bookcases, but the, apparently the book that hints at the dates is the, is the book Invocation of Azura. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have really guessed that myself. But, yeah, there's quite a few interesting quirks about the, at least reading through this wiki, who knows how much is tr actually, like, accurate and stuff, but it seems fairly, uh, you know, somewhat researched. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to assume that, yeah, it's right. So you need to be rank six. So Warlock is rank six. And then the other temples have the Daedra summoning, some of them at least. And the, uh, the Witch Covens allow summoning whatever, as long as you can find one. And apparently, it's actually not the same for each one as I thought it was. Uh, what is it? Daedra can only be summoned at the Mage's Guild or Temples on certain days. See, summoning days. At Witch Covens, however, the situation is completely different. It seems that random chance alone determined which determines which Daedra Prince will be summoned on that particular day. You, of course, you can, of course, simply visit the Coven every day until they offer to summon the Daedra Prince you wish to speak to. The only exception to her is Hercene, her who can be summoned every day by the Glenmoral Witches, who can not be summoned by other Daedra Summoners, even on a summoning day. Interesting. I guess what that on Oblivion was kind of referring to or something, maybe. Um. So, let's see what the summoning days are and stuff. And apparently the cost is a calculation of, like, base 200,000 minus your reputation times a thousand with that faction that you're summoning from. So if you have a hundred reputation with the faction, then it gets reduced by a hundred thousand. So 50% or whatever. So either way, the minimum you're going to pay is a hundred thousand. So at the end of the day, yeah, like what's, 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 um, 40,000 gold to me, not that much. So I'm, I'm probably not going to worry too much about the reputation that, uh, much with the guild, but yeah. But most important thing, I need to know the summoning days, so let's see what those are. Uh, now, I don't know which ones I particularly care about. I mean, I'm probably going to go for the Augma Infinium. First, even though stats don't really matter, but it seems like a pretty, you know, pretty all-around uh, smart one to always go for. It's probably the most practically useful of all of them at the end of the day. Um, first seed, the fifth. The fifth of first seed. Uh... Now I need to remember what the shit the, uh, <laughs> the fucking days are. Oh, uh, the calendar is so messed up. Let me find, uh, let me look up the calendar. Um. Daggerfall. Calendar. There we go. Uh, oh, that's... Well, yeah. Left to right. So, 
Uh, I think Morning Star is January. Sun's Dawn is February. First Seed is March. So I think January, February, March. So first seed is the third month of the year. Now, what day is it now in game? Of Sun's Dusk. So, yeah, we're pretty far away from that. We are... The 22nd of Sun's Dust. That is... Sun's Dusk looks like it's basically November. So we're about three... Four months, more like four months off from that. Uh, first seed. So let's actually see if there's any other stage run I'm interested in uh, summoning, and maybe if they're closer to this date. Let us see. Wait, what the hell does the Ring of Khajiit do again? Opponent takes damage from own attacks. When equipped, the opponent takes damage from own attacks. Casting cost. Health is reduced by the amount. Huh? The hell? Oh, is that all it does? I mean, yeah, that, that sounds good, like, on paper. Spells and missile attacks are ignored. How much damage the attacker suffers. Yeah, that's not that useful. Like, melee, yeah. Not that useful to me, at least. Sorry, Meridia. Not convinced. Not convinced with that one. What are we in? Sun's Dusk. Sun's Dawn. Now, what was Sun's... Was Sun's Dawn right after Sun's Dusk? Or is that's no sun's dawn? Yeah, that's that's a few months away. Anything in sun's dusk? It doesn't look like it. Oh no, there is. Man, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, yeah, so I... So there's two in Sun's Dusk summoning days, actually. One for Boethia, which is the Ebony Male, on the second of Sun's Dusk. And then one for the Malrune's Dagger, which is the second of... Or the 20th of, some, of Sun's Dusk. So I was... <laughs> I was very... Uh, close, apparently, to the uh, summoning days for those, so... Now if I want them, I'll have to wait a whole year. I might honestly want the Ebony Mail, but I'll see. So yeah, I'll probably have to wait an entire in-game year for that. But what's, what is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, this is not anything going on, but, uh, maybe this is interesting to somebody. Evening Star is the next month. So what would be Evening Star, if there is any? Evening Star, looks like there's only one. Evening Star, and that is Mace of Molag Ball. Also known as Vampire's Mace, the Mace of Molag Well, I don't think I'm interested in that. One, I don't use mazes, and two, yeah. Probably not a Daedric Prince I would be, Cynia would be wanting to get involved with. So, it looks like that's bust for now, so we're gonna have to wait until... What's Morning Star? Morning Star is the 
next year in game what's on morning star one two two clavis clavicus vile and meridia so i don't care really care about meridia uh, maybe i'll get it anyway but i'll see So, the mask, Masque of Clavicus. What is the Masque of Clavicus? As a charm spell. Fucking pretty much useless, but kind of neat. Just as a trinket. Just kind of looks cool, I guess. Uh, you know, and being a deceiver, I think that is fitting. So, I guess that's going to be the first... I, I might as well just go through all the ones that I care about throughout the year. So, I think that's the first one we're going to go for, is the first of... The first of next game, next in year... Next, next year in game. <laughs> the first of Morning Star, which is right... After Evening Star. So I gotta keep of that keep note of that. So first of Morning Star, which is right after that. So we gotta wait. Uh just a little bit over a month. So maybe since we're gonna be doing a bunch of months and stuff, we don't obviously don't want our reputation to go down. So maybe we'll just do uh See if we can get, like, a, a dungeon crawl quest for uh, the Mages Guild. So do some Mages Guild quest effort. We're going to need money anyway, so we need to make um, need to make some coin and everything. So let's do some dungeons, why don't we? And then we will summon Daedra when we uh, the dates line up. And apparently it's definitely not even 100%. If they will actually show up. I think they maybe always show up. But uh, it's time to fail. So basically I'm probably going to save scum until I just get them. Because I don't know. I'll see. Time in your hands. I have a very important mission for you. The risk are high. But I will pay you. Oh god. Please be a dungeon crawl. Don't be some stupid bullshit. Scroll I seek is hidden away. Okay good. It's been here for hundreds of years. But the guild never knew of it until blah blah blah. Improperly go to the ruins of that. At least the powers within it. Wasn't this the one that bugged for me or some shit? Enchanted. Uh. Well, at the very worst. Um. At the very worst. They are giving me a dungeon location, so I could do a dungeon. So even if quest bugs, I don't really care that much. I'm not really specifically doing this for guild reputation, just kind of something to do, somewhere to go. Uh, Alright, so let's do it. Even if it bugs, screw it. Um, Let's see, the ruins of Buckingfield Orchard. Cool. Uh huh. The the ruins of Buck. I've been finding a lot of dungeon entrances with uh, exteriors with this kind of design, which is is cool. I'm used to usually having dungeon. Entrances that are very like bland, just like literally just a hole, like nothing else. <laughs> so can't really complain about that. Uh, sure. And let's save here. No idea if this will bug, but fuck it. Got to find a scroll, and it's a pretty small dungeon. Got 
ghost. Ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I mean, Cinnia might be, but I don't know. At this point, I've just said F it, as I've said quite a long time ago. <laughs> About that, it seems. I'm not very good at the RP thing, but these games don't make it easy to, uh... At least the vanilla game does not make it easy to... Be... <laughs> to to, to roleplay these sort of things. Like, I, I still don't even feel that the phobia is doing anything. Um, like, really. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, hey. Frost, Daedra, um... Do I want anything for your soul? I think I do, but I also want a Frost Atronach. But yeah. We'll try. Frost, Daedra, soul. Nice. Um... Now, what did I use the fire ones on? Uh, that's Lamia. Lamia. Seducer. Oh, I think I used it on armor. Hellfire. Um. Hmm. I still need to get more Daedric armor. Uh, which... <laughs> I mean, I might as well try and get the the goal, if I can, to get a full set of Daedric at this point. Um, but yeah, I'll see. Maybe, I don't know. Perhaps I'll use this soul on something. I think I need to get more soul traps. Now... Do I have more soul traps in my wagon? I might not. Oh, what's that? No, I got some... Yes, yeah, so I need to buy... If I remember, I need to get some more empty soul traps. But, uh... Got enough for two, uh... Frost Daedras, at least. If I want them. This guy, he is cool with me. I'm not successful. Oh. Forgot pickpocketing was a thing. <laughs> Hi, man. Well, unfortunately... Oh. Yay, thank you for the mana. Thanks for the mana, buddy. Let's wrap soul. Cool. Oh, yay. So many bugged lights with their noises. All right, cool. I got two frost danger souls to maybe use on some danger pieces. I don't know. Just to make it symmetrical or some shit. But, uh... Hey. <laughs> See? I don't think you're happy with me. No, you're not. You didn't do anything or no? Okay. See? The language skills, if you get them high enough... Uh... Or maybe it's also because I have these. The good reputation... With all, maybe? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I also forgot I got 95 Daedra because of Enhanced Skill Daedra. <laughs> so, yeah. At this point, I should have a pretty high chance of pacifying them. <laughs> wow. Fucking one-shot backstab.
God damn, son. One shot. Orange in the Mages Guild. Haha. <laughs> Funny. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, this, this module has this funny little spot here. Where it's just like... Here's three enemies just in one little spot. <laughs> one corridor. Or maybe four, actually. How the hell did you die? Oh, I guess somebody spammed magic and killed you. Or maybe you did. You killed yourself. That's also a pretty likely... Possibility. But yeah, I should buy some more soul traps and stuff. Just in case I find something I want to trap the soul of. Don't do that. I don't like fire. You gotta wonder how that holy water stays stays in the gauntlet God gauntlet? Gauntlet? I don't know what the, I don't know how to say words. Stays in that when it's submerged in water. <laughs> Alright, I'm back at the entrance, it looks like. Indeed. Well, might as well drop some shit off. And drop a save. We buds? Yeah, we are. You too. <laughs> Classification does indeed work, it's just kind of awkward and clunky how it works.
fucked up, man. Ow. Oh. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like me either? Nope. Difficult to tell sometimes. <laughs> How about you? Ah, you like me. You too, hey. <laughs> That's where I figured this lead. Oh, nice. How? Oh. Oh. Barely noticed that. Wow, really? Skeletal warrior man? Haven't seen one of you guys in a long time. I have outscaled you, outleveled you. But where are you? I hear you, but I can't see you, buddy. Ah, eh, well. Back here. Alright, so that... That didn't bring me anywhere. Possibly the other elevator. Probably angry at me. Yeah. Detect enemy trolls blood. And aquatic form. Those are all running out. Where the hell was the elevators? Man, I'm getting lost in a stupid place. Stupid place to get lost. There we are. Right now the other one instead. Pretty sure this leads to some kind of quest location. We're buds, but you're in my way. I want that. Whatever is in it, probably nothing. I probably can't even loot it now. Oh, no. Again. Shit. I didn't want that. Yeah, it was garbage. What's up, asshole? Well, I think that's our quest item. Indeed it is. You were burning your hand, you quickly put it in your backpack, and you could hear a strange moaning sound. Nice. Uh... Well... Uh, wait a minute. Huh. The hell is up with that? Oh well. 
Um, I don't really know where else that I could really go in this module right now, so I'm just going to teleport back and say we're good. This town takes quite a while to load. Ah, oh, great. This is why I like the, uh... Thieves Guild. I'm sorry, the uh, Dark Brotherhood Halls, because you could just go in them whatever. You don't have to wait some arbitrary time to go in. It's like I could just come in whatever the F I want. All right then, let's take some. Let's do a little sleeping. Haven't been to an inn in quite some time, or at least not. Uh. Not. Um. What's the word? Not in the practical sense, where I've actually like went to one. No, I don't want to loiter. I want to rest. Cynia has been using inns on her way to get to the locations, but I have not. Rest another eight, and then it should be good to go. Whoops. Oh, that's fine then. Perfect. It's raining. All right, let's see if this quest bugged or not. Yes, it did. Great. Oh, uh, that's what I figured. 27 days. All right, then screw it. Let's, uh, just kill. Let's just kill a month. And then let the quest expire, because it bugged out. Maybe let's use it. Fuck it. Oh, didn't do nothing. Yeah, that quest sucks because it's bugged, and it did this last time, so it's just a poorly written quest, apparently. Um. All right, well, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna deal with that on uh, my own. Do that real quick, but uh, I will end the episode now since it's gotten a little bit long. But uh, yeah. We are just going to be doing some Mages Go quest, even though we don't necessarily have to, since we are already uh, high enough level to use, or high enough rank to use the Danger Summoning. But now we just gotta basically kill time until their Danger Summoning days are uh, available. So, yeah. So we're just probably going to be doing quests for the hell of it, and to get dungeon locations and get money doing that um, in that meantime. But, uh... Yeah. I'm, uh... That's what I'm gonna be doing, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Um, no, it probably wasn't a great episode, but uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.